GBP risk ahead. Guys, tomorrow we have a Bank of England rate decision and it should be quite an interesting one. Um, two key things we're really gonna be watching at this meeting. The first one and the most important one is what are the Bank of England gonna do about their QE pro, uh, program? So basically, just for context, um, since March, when the coronavirus economic crisis first hit the UK, the Bank of England has increased the size of its QE program by 200 billion. However, at the current rate at which it's buying bonds and, and corporate, basically assets, basically, to support financial markets, at the current rate of purchases, it's going to run out in mid-July. So, really, the Bank of England does need to increase the size of this QE program, or it's going to run out of QE before the next meeting. So, uh, the question is, how much are they going to do this increase? Are they going to do 100 billion? 100 billion, by the way, is the, the, the consensus expectation. Um, but there's some analysts calling for 150 billion, or maybe even more, added to this, to this total size of their QE program. Uh, for example, ING argue that if they only do 100 billion, they'll have to do another top up in August if they continue at the same pace as, uh, as what they're buying at the moment. Um, so they're saying that 150 billion might be better because then they don't have to feel the urgency again in August to do another QE increase. They can sort of wait it out a little bit longer. The second key thing to watch at this meeting, um, going in the last couple of months or weeks more, um, there's been a lot of talk by Bank of England officials, a lot of speculation in the market about whether the Bank of England is going to go negative with rates. Um, basically, the Bank of England hasn't ruled out the option and it has indicated that it is considering the option. So it's going to be really interesting, particularly in the minutes from this meeting, which are released tomorrow as well, alongside the, you know, the statement and all that other stuff. Um, it's going to be interesting to see how the discussion around negative rates goes at this meeting. Nobody's expecting negative rates to come tomorrow, but are, how much are officials in favour of negative rates? How much are they, you know, deciding that actually now nah, negative rates, we don't like it? We don't know. It's going to be really, really interesting. Um, in terms of how GBP is going to react, obviously, it's going to be looking at those two key factors mostly. So first of all, if QE, if, if the bank increases QE less than expected, that will be hawkish and GBP positive. If it does a bigger increase, like 150 billion, that will be GBP negative. Um, with negative rates, the more the bank seems to be favoring negative rates, the more dovish that will be, the more GBP negative, and the more hesitant they are on the idea, the more that will be hawkish and GBP positive. That is pretty much it from me to, uh, for now, guys. Enjoy this meeting tomorrow, and I will see you in the next one.